We thank you, Father, for bringing us through the fire. We thank you, God, for taking good care of us, Lord, for watching over our souls. God, for keeping us, Lord. We thank you, God, for every person that you have allowed to live to see this day, that you allowed to come into your house again. And we give you praise, glory, and honor, God. We thank you for we are undeserving, God. But we thank you for your mercy and your grace that has kept us, Lord. And we thank you for being so good. We thank you for what you're going to do in the near future. In the name of Jesus, we praise you and glorify you. Amen and amen.
to be here tonight, coming down to the last hour of this year. Every person in this building has a right to praise God, to thank him, not because he owed you anything, but because he loved you, because he cared about you. I am so grateful for how he's kept me over the years. Not one time have I wavered or looked back at the world. This is a good life. You'll never find anything better than what we have today. The fact that he sent his son to die for us and give us a chance and an opportunity to live for him is the greatest honor in the world. We're so happy for all of you that are here tonight. A special welcome to any visitors we may have. We're glad that you're here. This is a good time to be in church and not drunk somewhere. There's a lot of people celebrating the night the wrong way. But I'm glad tonight we celebrate Jesus and all that he's done for me. He has been so good. I don't even have enough words to say. Thank you for the last 48 years of serving God. And in a few, few minutes, I will be looking at 49 years of running this race. And I can tell you now it's been a good race. This year has been one of the greatest years of our life because God has taught us many things. He's opened our eyes to some truth. He has blessed us far more than we ever, ever deserve to be blessed. And I'm thankful for it tonight. I'm going to be, not be here because about five minutes to 12, honey, we're going to shout it out. That is, thank God for 2015. So I'm going to preach until I get to that point. When I get there, and I'm going to cut it. Yes. I want to preach to you a little while tonight. Uh, yes. Paul said, and uh, where am I at? In 1 Corinthians 15, 57th verse, by the time you find it, I'll be done. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. I want to preach a little while tonight. You know what? Paul was encouraging the church. To be steadfast, don't be shaky. Shaky people don't last. People that are solid and in place, they last. You got to become established to be able to run this race. Otherwise, you will not run it. You cannot survive all that the enemy will bring against you. You know what I was thinking? What too many people set goals all the time who will never reach those goals. You know why? Because they go year after year setting goals, but they're not going to reach them. You know why? Because it takes something to set a goal in place and say, I'm going to reach that. It takes determination. It takes a person that no matter what happens, they are solidly in place. I said to the Lord almost 49 years ago, I'm in this race to the end. I didn't come in here wondering whether I was going to make it, and I hope I did. I knew I would make it. All I had to do was follow what the Word says and obey and do what he told me to do. How could I not make it? So people set goals. This is that time of the year that people start setting goals for certain things. And sometimes when they wake up on New Year's Day, they already screwed up things. See? From the time you set goals, that's why Paul told the church, you got to be steadfast, unmovable. Because if you, if you move around and shift, you're not going to make it. So listen, listen to this. Rest assured there will be all kinds of things to keep you from reaching that goal. I want to say to you for the most part, I don't think it's always good for you to share with somebody what that goal is. 
Because people start talking, talking against it and discouraging you before you ever get started. So sometimes it's best just keep it to yourself. I just want to share this with somebody. Don't. Because before you know it, somebody will tell you, well, honey, I had an uncle and a cousin who thought the same way. And you know what? They didn't make it. I don't base my life off of whether somebody made it. I base my life off of what the word of God tells me that I can do. Listen, I want you to know that reaching goals is hard work. If you think you're just getting ready to coast in here and put it in cruise and go through it, no, you're not. Setting goals means I got to work at it. And some people are too lazy to work at it. But if you want to make it work, you got to work it. You got to give it everything you got, every ounce of strength you got, you got to make up in your mind mentally I'll not be turned back. I'll not become deterred from where I'm going. I'm going with this thing. I'm going to be steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the work of God. I'm not, no, 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 I can't stop now. See, be prepared for hard work. That's a part of it. That's a part of it. Lazy people not going to make it to heaven. Because too many people that's lazy, they don't believe in hard work. They want everything to just come real easy. And I don't really have to do a lot for it. And it's just here. It's not that way. See? Be ready for the resistance that the enemy will put up against you. Sometimes he comes directly in your mind. And at other times, he comes through people. You got to learn to resist that. That this is a goal I set for the first time in my life. You got to make up your mind, I'm going to win it this time. So You know what? Every year you leave, live, you've got one less year in this world. And if you keep on not reaching these goals and setting goals, you're, you're not going to make it. Because when you, you'll wake up one day and it'll all be over. All of a sudden, it'll all be gone. And you think, my God, I, I plan on doing this, and I plan this with my life, but I didn't get none of it done. I can tell you time passed very quickly. I can remember back when Charles first went in the military. I can remember back, I was very young. I think I was in my 20s, or maybe, I don't even know if I was, I think I was 20. And Charles went in the military. When you knew one thing, that 20 years was gone. And while you're sitting there uh, watching the clock and look like it's slowly passing, it's not slowly going. Your life is ebbing away with every moment and every second. And if you're going to get something done for God, you better get up and start doing it. Otherwise, you won't get it done. You will face a hostile encounter with the enemy. I mean, he is out for warfare. Sometimes you got to make the decision between you and God and not even the devil here. You just got to speak it from your heart. Yeah. See? The devil will oppose you and try to weaken you so that you can't survive, so that you can't stay strong. That's why Paul said be steadfast. Let the wind blow. Let the storm come. I'm not getting ready to let anything move me. You see a tree sometime in the yard and the wind is blowing and it's doing this, but you know what? It never come up. Right. You got to become steadfast, rooted and grounded in the truth. Because unless you understand through truth are you going to make it. Right. Not without that. The devil will oppose you in every way. The devil and people will be your worst critics. To criticize you, to tell you, you know, you don't look like you're doing too good. I don't care what it looks like. I'm concerned about what thus said the Lord. And if God said I can do it, I can do it. You must obligate yourself. I'm obligating myself to this. I'm obligating myself to some prayer time. I'm obligating myself to some things. And I'm not letting nothing stop me. No matter what it is, I'm not doing it. 
guilty. So put yourself in obligation to it, which is I just I put myself in a situation where I bind myself to this. I'm going to be faithful to the house of God. I'm going to quit hitting and missing because when you hit and miss, you don't get nowhere. It's the people that's pushing it, giving it everything they got when they feel like it, when they don't feel like it, when they're tired of the war. All these things I keep pushing. I don't stop. Obligate yourself no matter what. And be prepared to constrain yourself. You got to hold yourself into check. That I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. Whatever the devil fought you with these past years and last year, you look back on your life, you think, you know, I've been doing the same thing over and over again. All I do is I start something, but I never finish it. But if you want to make it, really make it, you're going to have to set some goals. People that don't have goals in their life are not successful people. You got to have something to work toward. You got to have something out there, put it in writing between you and God, this is what I'm going to do, and read it every day. At the end of the day, you need to check yourself and see, am I in the place where I told God I was going to be? When the next message come across this pulpit that walked all over you and showed you who you were, when it comes again, you shouldn't be there. You should have made some progress. I should be moved up somewhere. I don't do what I used to do. I don't think the way I used to think. I don't feel like I used to feel. You got to move. You got to move. See? Be prepared. You must be committed and keep and keep it and make a firm commitment. Solid. People say, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to commit to it. But, you know, I was thinking... You never know what's going to happen. You're not going to make it. I want to commit to it, but you know what? You really can't tell what's going to be on tomorrow, and I'm not concerned about it because God holds my tomorrow. I'm going to commit to it no matter what it takes. See? So if I keep pushing, if I start off firm and solid, all the devils in hell cannot shake you. I know for sure because I've fought a many a battle. In fact, I've never stopped fighting battles from the time I got saved. But you know what? I came in with a mind, I'm going to win, though. No. I think some people don't really believe they're going to win. I think they really do believe they're going to fail. And they tell themselves that every day. I don't think I'm going to make it. Things look bad for me right now. I've been trying. It seems like I'm getting weaker instead of better. Uh, uh, you, you, you know, as long as you confess all that stuff, you're not going anywhere. Because in the power of the tongue right. is life and death. You can either speak life and victory in your life or you can speak death and defeat. That's up to you. I refuse to do it. I was talking to Dr. Gullen to, uh, this week. Uh, his son committed suicide uh, February this year. And when I talked to him, he said, uh, I get up every day and I try to make myself set a cha train, a train of thought for myself for the day to try to get through this because he was only 24 years old. He put a gun in his mouth and shot his brains out. And he said, uh, Rose, when I get in my truck, I cry every day. Because it's from his first marriage and he's remarried. He's got two other children. He said, I cry, but I don't want them to see me, so I cry in my truck. And I said, one day you'll get up and say, I don't want to cry in my truck no more. But it takes time to get there. But somewhere, people have not got this yet. That is that I declare what I'm going to do. I declare where I'm going. I declare whether I'll be strong or weak. I declare whether I'm going to overcome everything the devil's ever put in my track. I'm not having it this year. And you just can't say that and let it be words. It's got the yobo shundan of a kasata. It's got to come from your heart. I said to the Lord, what I ask you for this year is to end better than I started. What I ask you for is to consume me. 
with the anointing of God, with your power, with your love, with all of the attributes that you are, consume me with that. I think sometimes we don't want to sell God certain things because we really, really don't want to do it. But I want to be consumed with him. Until every thought, everything that's going on in my mind, in my spirit, is so full of God in every way. See? If you're going to go toward the goal, you go, you got to be prepared. There's going to be a lot of stumbling blocks and situations and all these things coming at you to stop you. Settle it. Settle it between you and God. I'm not going to have to, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not in a state of debate. It's settled. When you settle something, you know you're going to win. But most people don't even know what settle is. I put it in place. My mind is made up no matter what. We used to sing a song. It says, my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I'm going to do what the Lord say do. That's, right. That's up to you. You screwed it up last year and the year before and the year before that. You got to determine I'm going to change that forever. Yeah. Not for a moment, not for a little time. Forever. See? Commit to following instruction to the letter. Because if you don't follow it to the letter, you didn't follow instruction. You got to get to the place that you resolve yourself. Close out the voices. And there are many in the world that will try and persuade you to not fulfill your goal. Tune them out. I don't want to hear all this stuff. I want you to tell me sometimes, get you some, some Holy Ghost here plugs and stick them in there. I don't want to hear what you got to say because everything you say is negative and I refuse to let that come into me. That's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger, some years ago I heard this. In fact, I read about it. Uh, his father died while he was here training for to become, I think it's Mr. Universe or, or whatever it was, that, that uh, thing that he was struck. Miss who? Olympic. O Olympic? Okay, and his father died. He was the only son, only child. And his mother said, please, could you come home with me? I'm alone. I'm by myself. I need you by my side. You know what he said? This is a, a corruptible crown. He said, mom, I love you, but I can't let any negative energy come into me right now. My dad's death is negative to me. I can't let that in because I'm striving to win a crown. But it was a corruptible crown. We're striving for incorruptible crown. He said, I can't do it. You think of that, you think people giving up on God every day, and this is a man that don't even know who God is, and he says, I can't let that negative energy come into me. It'll prevent me from winning. And we let negative energy come in every day from somewhere, somebody telling you something crazy, and you pull it in. And you wonder why you don't have no victory. You wonder why you're weakened. You wonder why your strength is not what it was. Because you allow negative stuff to come into your spirit, and it begins to pull you down. I refuse that. I said, if you have a self-pity party, I don't attend those. Do not send me an invitation because I will not be there. I think life is too short for us to live our life shaking back and forth. I don't want to live my life. I don't know from day to day what I'm going to do next. I got a goal set. I'm working toward that goal. I'm determined I will win it. You're going to have to push and push and push. And you're going to have to turn off all the voices that's talking to you. Evil spirits talk to your mind and tell you and show you all the reasons why you can't make it. 
But that ain't going to work for you. You see how things is turning out? You woke up on the first day of the year, and everything that could go wrong went wrong. I don't care what goes wrong. I believe I can make it. I believe I can go through this. I can get through it. That's how I lasted 49 years. I refuse to take no for an answer. I refuse to accept defeat. I, ex I, I refuse to let anybody tell me that I couldn't do it. You don't tell me what to do. The word tells me what to do. And if Jesus said it, honey, then it's mine. And I refuse to take down and let anybody take that from me. Yes. Set daily, daily goals. Weekly, monthly. Do not fail. Push against the force that's pushing against you. Push back. That's how you get strong. That's how you have resistance. Because when it pushes me, I push back. And I don't give in. You see these people, uh, these people put their arm up here and do a wrestling thing and see who's the strongest? If you give up and say, oh, forget you. At least give it a fight. At least don't just give up and say, I, I'm not going to be able to No, fight. I brought my son-in-law up here one time, and, and we was up here, and I was showing people there about that, and he was pushing, and I was pushing. He was pushing, and I was pushing. And he's shaking, I was shaking. But I wasn't getting ready to give up. I got to win this. I think I won, didn't I? <laughs> uh, but, but, but do you remember that? Yeah. He'd rather, not, he'd rather not give me that. But you know what? You got to be strong here. In your mind, a weak-minded person gets nowhere. Because anybody can sway them. Anybody can tell them anything and they'll believe it. I don't believe that crap. Talk on if you will. The more you talk, the more I push. The more you tell me it can't be accomplished, I believe I can accomplish it. Yes. Mm -mm. Moving straight forward. Straight forward. That means don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Because over here somebody's talking a bunch of crap. Somebody over here's talking crap. Uh-uh, straight forward. Don't turn aside to listen to, to hear anything. Just keep going straight. Keep your eyes on the prize. What is it that you want to go? What do you want to do? Quit making excuses for your flesh. Well, I'm a weak person. Well, get out of my face because I don't have time for weakness. The devil defeats every weak person there is. Let the weak say that I'm strong. I got to confess strength, I got to confess power. I'm not giving in. Oh, no, I'm not. See? This is when they started moving forward toward the goal. He told Israel, you shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God hath commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You will do what he tells you to do. Not people. There's always be some negative people in the world till you die. And they sit down, they talk crap. They never get up and get anywhere. They just love to talk, talk, talk. Full of vain talk. Why I can't make it. Do you understand this? That this lady, her husband came to this church. And she came too, but she really played him for the biggest punk. And she, uh, she sat around eight all the time and she was, grossly overweight and she and she went to um, went and had the stomach bypass so she could lose the weight and all she did was play that man for the biggest fool I said baby your wife is playing you so I was talking to this lady she was telling me all the reasons why she was fat and but one reason you eat too much <laughs> oh reasons why she's fat and can't lose the weight and so I said baby you can go get your stomach cut all you want to you will stretch that booger back out and be eating everything you want to eat don't tell me about that crap 
and just kept on giving me these excuses. I thought I'm going to have to hang this phone up. And then he couldn't come to church unless she came to church. I said, baby, God ain't got no wimps in the kingdom. I said, let us stay at home. And why are you bringing the kids, a little bitty arm babies, you carrying them around? She's sitting on a fat tail at home. Leave them down with a fat tail. Feed them too. <laughs> you go, here you come to church and you dragging the kids in. She laying up in the bed continually to eat. And then, and then she's got you feeling sorry for her. Don't give people sympathy for about things they can change. If you can change it, why do I feel sorry for you? Talk crap all day long, if you will. But if you can do something about it, get up and do something about it. You don't win just talking. You don't win. See? He said to Joshua, be strong and very courageous. It takes courage to win. It takes courage that you do according to all the law. Turn not from the right hand or to the left. As my servant Moses told you, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. You're not going to succeed without obeying. You're not going to succeed when you start looking to the left and looking to the right. You're not going to succeed. You say, you say, what's wrong with you? Got my eyes on the prize. Well, where is it at? Right up there. I don't see nothing. Don't care. Keep going. I'm not holding you a conversation. I'm not talking along the way. I'm too busy with my eyes on the prize. I got to win this no matter what. See? Turn not to the right hand or to the left and remove your foot from doing evil. Because as long as sin's in your life, you will not succeed. You got to get rid of the sin. If you expect to accomplish something for the kingdom, you got to get rid of the sin. These preachers don't preach against sin no more. They let everybody do what they want to do. And I'm telling you, you're going to hell if you don't stop it. That's a fact. You are not going to succeed spiritually or naturally without God. If you really want to make it, if you really want to build a life for yourself, if you really want to be the best that God's got, you're going to have to include him. He's got to be at the center of your life, not your husband, not your wife, not your children, not your career, but God. That's what's got to be there. Because if he's not there, you ain't going to make it. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. You can't do this and constantly looking back. Have you ever seen anybody looking back like this and making, and making progress that way? That's not going to happen. Because his mind looking back here, looking back here. They're always looking at Egypt, looking at Egypt, and looking up to here. I'm thinking about last year. I don't care about last year because in about 20 more minutes, last year don't exist. That's right. It don't exist. If you was a flop last year, in 20 minutes you can mark it off, get a clean tablet, and start over. Let, get, a, get a clean piece of paper and say, let me start over. And this time, I'm staying with it. I'm tired of it. People sit in this church and wait for special services again and again. You know what? Why did you hold on to the last one? Why did you stay true then? Why do you keep skipping around here and there, tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine? Why don't you get in there and give it everything you got and say, I ain't giving up? Paul said, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. I forget those things in 2014. I forget those things. Which are behind me, 2014 and 20 minutes is behind you. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. What's ahead of you? You know what? I'm a firm believer. If what's ahead of you is good, you don't have time to look back at the bad. Right. If you got a good life ahead of you today, you're not looking back at the old life. Forget you. Donna Jr., you, honey, you just got good things ahead. I told my kids the other day, I said, we don't, we don't been through the bad. We can really have good now. A whole lot of good. Oh, my God. God just keeps sending stuff in and blowing your mind. You say, what? He's doing it his way. See, if you're going to do it God's way, it's going to take time. If you do it your way, you're going to make a mess anyway. Because a hurry spirit is always of the devil. People that's in a hurry, they're not following God. They're following their own desire, their own heart. 
See? Paul said, I don't, I don't tell you that, 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 uh, uh, that I understand the meaning of all this. But one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to forget what's yesterday. I don't care what happened yesterday. I'm concerned about what's going on in my life right now. Because what God's going to judge me on is my today. If my tomorrow is gone and you didn't make it right, you can't even start on a, on a, on a good path. You got, you got to repent. You got to ask God to forgive you for 2014. You screwed up, screwed up, and screwed up. Now I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I don't want to talk about it. You'll have somebody come up. You remember back in, what was that, June? Say, so, honey, I don't go to June. June's dead. I ain't going to August. August is dead. You ain't taking me on no backward trip. Don't put me in reverse. Honey, I'm going forward. I don't want to hear it. I'm reaching forward to those things which are before. What do I do? I press. I press. I push. Because if I don't, my yesterday will overcome me. I got to press toward the mark of the prize of a high calling in Christ Jesus. I don't have time. Life is short. If I start focusing on 2014, I'll never get nothing accomplished this year. I put that under the blood. All my mistakes, all my failures, I put it under the blood and I say this year, I am not going to have those failures. I am not going to be in that position. Yes. He said, I'm not telling you I understand or recognize everything. But I know one thing, I'm going to forgive for whatever's back there. Because one thing about it, you can't change it. You can't change 2014. All you can do is go forward. I'm going forward. Where are you going? I got a goal set. I ain't, never, I ain't getting into it with you for whatever reason you may think crazy. I'm going forward. I see where I want to get. I see where I'm going, and nothing and nobody is stopping me. Nobody. You got to determine that in your own heart. I refuse to be stopped. I refuse to give up. I refuse to let anything get in my way to keep me from doing what I need to do. You know what it's going to take? It's going to take effort on your part. It's going to take effort because without that you can't do it. It's going to say, you got to do something that exerts energy. Lazy people ain't getting ready to do nothing. Talk a bunch of crap. They know how to talk. Get up off your duff and do something. Talk is cheap. But you can make things happen. I live by that slogan, make it happen. You make it happen this year. You make it happen. You commit to fasting and praying and staying before God and giving yourself to him. And I'm going to do more this year than I ever did before. I'm setting goals high and strive for it, press toward it. See, it's always going to be, you're going to be dealing with force because you got a, an opposition that is standing there to keep you from making it, don't want you to make it. See, understand. There's going to be possible resistance. From the time you wake up, time this service closes out, you're going to have possible resistance. That's keeping you from doing it. You sit right on that pew and say, you know what? She's telling the truth, but I'm trying. But get rid of B-U-T. Get rid of it. It's the greatest stumbling block you could have in your life. But get rid of but. I was so glad, Joe, when you called me today about that uh, business thing. I thought... Baby, you come out the gate like a bull coming out with everything you got. You show the devil and everybody else who thought that maybe you ain't going to get there. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show it to you that I can accomplish this, that I know I can do it. Why am I letting you tell me what I can do? Who gave you the, who gave you the advice to give me? Don't advise me, you dummy. See? You got to be ready for the resistance that's called into action by such a force. The force is against you before you ever take the first step. 
You said, I was, I was going to do it, but Sister Rose, I'm telling you, things just kept getting hard and hard. I just, really? I look at you like, really? You, you think you got a trial? Honey, that's a spring rain. You ain't got no trial. You don't even know what a tsunami is. You don't even know what a storm is. You don't even know what war is. You got to determine, I don't care what obstacle gets in my way, I'm moving it. Move it. As the scripture talks about the man that wanted to go out of his house, but he said a lion is out there. Are you going to stay in the house because the lion is out there? Go out and kill him. I don't think I'm that strong. You know, you know how big a lion is? How bad do you want what you want? I don't care the size of the lion. I don't care how big the enemy is. Because I am a more than a conqueror. I'm more than just a conqueror. I'm more than that. So I'm not concerned about the enemy. I'm not concerned about what he's talking about. I'm not concerned about that garbage. I'm pressing toward the mark. Commit yourself, and you got to be in, you got to get engaged. And get involved in a hostile encounter. You know, everybody's looking, trying to get away from, ooh, you know how hostile that can be? You know, you know how bad that can be? Oh, my God, I don't know if I could, oh. If I thought like that, the devil would have beaten my socks off years ago. I thought, no, I win. You said, it don't look good for you, Sister Rose. It look good to me. I don't have to look through your lying eyeballs. I look through, I look through the eyes of faith. Because, honey, you don't see nothing no way. I see this as your best year of becoming my own boss and making all that God said I can make. I see that. But if I see it and you don't see it, it'll never happen. I got to believe it. I'm going after with everything I got. I'm not going to fear. I'm not going to be troubled. I'm not going to be upset. I'm going forward. I am coming like a bulldog. I ain't stopping. I'm coming through. If you don't get out of my way, I'll run over you. I got to have this. This is mine. God told, God told me it was mine. Set the goal. Go after it. Set it high, don't set no little gold way down here. And then when you come short, you're on the cotton picking ground. No. That's why I told Nina, I said, honey, when they let you go from that job after 25 years, see, I turned that and said, boy, they lost a good employee. I ain't taking that. I, I, something was wrong with me. Something's wrong with them fools. You're the problem. I tell women, when your husband walk out on you and don't treat you right, don't talk about what's wrong with me. Nothing. You got a fool. That's what you got. He's messed up. He's cockeyed. He's screwed up. Why should you take it? I just thought maybe I, if I lost a few pounds, honey, they, they going to do that stuff if you was shaped like this. It ain't got nothing to do with your shape. You have married a fool. You got to understand that. So I'm going to bind myself to this thing. I ain't going to lose. I ain't going to turn it loose. I'm going to bind myself to it and make a firm commitment to put into final form. This is it. This is it. To settle it. To become fixed. Resolved or established. Become fixed. I ain't moving. You can't move me. You can't move me. I like this. When you become steadfast, you are firmly fixed in place, not subject to change. You said, child, she ain't going to change. She's stubborn as a bull. Be stubborn for the right way. Be stubborn. Channel that toward the kingdom. So I'm not subject to change. Don't come even talking about it. Firm in your belief and in your determination. I believe I can make it, and I'm going to. 
That's why I told Joe today, I said, you got people waiting in the wings saying, Joe, just let me know. I'll work for you on commission. Bring them in. Faith without works is dead. Bring them in. So, and then you can convince the people coming in with you, we're going places. You as a leader have to do that. We're going places. We're getting ready to kill some giants. We're getting ready to kill some dragons. We're getting ready to beat the devil at his game. I'm going to win this. To set a goal is something you're working toward, toward the end of something. That's what you got to do. I told my son-in-law, Cliff, this afternoon, last week he came over to the house. He had a spirit. I don't like spirits. Unless it's the spirit of God. I said, what's wrong with you? Nothing. He said, so I asked him the same thing. What's wrong with you? Nothing. So I get ready to go down to see the guys. He's in the car. I said, we're not going all the way down the road with a spirit. We're going to talk. We're going to enjoy our trip. What's wrong with you? Mama, I don't know what's wrong with me. I get up out the bed this morning. The Lord said that job has got him in a straight jacket. She ain't been working for a few months. They'll put him in a straight jacket. Can't do nothing. Can't make a phone call. Can't hardly go to the bathroom. Can't do I said, you need to step off. Yeah. See, I step off by faith. I don't have to see something before I step off. Yeah. I'm not going to, in, uh, to, into a working environment that's hostile and that I got to work in it every day. And, I, and, and whether I go, if it's snowing or storming, you still better come. I need to kick you off. Don't worry about it. I said, let me tell you something. Believe the prophet, so shall you prosper. I said, I can tell you right now, if you ask God, I want my jobs from home. I'm a preacher. I need to pray. I need to read the word. He will give it to you. You don't have to take it. See, we take a lot of things because we ain't nothing but little wimps. Wimps. Cowards. We're scared of a fight. The whole you know, is he, he going to start a fight? If you want to start a fight, hey, we got one, buddy. I'm getting ready to knock all your teeth out. I'm getting ready to stop you from lying. I'm pulling your tongue out. You ain't lying to me no more. You know, I say, I ain't, I ain't taking that. No. Mm -mm. Who was that testifying the other night said, you done that to me long enough? Who was that? Was, was, was that Janelle? Was that Janelle? I mean, she was mad at the devil. But people that ain't mad at the devil, they just talk to you. And your word says you a lie. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Are you kidding me? Wigglesworth put it so good. He said, you're dealing with the enemy. He said, you knock him out, kick him in the stomach. Put him down. You don't whisper to the devil. Well, I just say, I told the devil he was a liar. Huh? You'll hear me holler in my house. You're just a liar. You just lie, lie, lie. And I bind you in the name of Jesus, and the blood is against you. Satan, the Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. If you can't do it, say the Lord rebuke thee. Yes. I'll make a commitment. I am going to obligate myself to it. Come here, high water, I'm going to do it. If you do that for the kingdom, all the devils in hell can't stop you. But you're around here looking stupid and scared. Sure. I just been fighting the devil. He just keeps coming back. I ain't really he coming back. When you gonna kill him? Slay him. He said, I gave you power over all the power of the enemy. Step on his head. Well, he's he looking me in the face. 
He's supposed to be under your feet. To me, he's looking you in your face. Since when did the devil stand up? God put him on, a, on his belly from the beginning of time. How did he get up? You run there talking a bunch of crap. Think about it. Uh -uh, I'm changing this. I'm changing it. See, we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. I'm going to hold on to my confidence and I'm staying solid in it until the end. When Paul got ready to leave this world, he said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. I finished my course. Now there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Timothy, be strong in the Lord, boy, because I'm checking out of here. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. See, because I'm getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready to stick my sword in the sand and call it a day. See, waiting for him to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come on home. Come on home. What are you going to do this year? Don't start off lying and don't let the devil tell you, well, just don't say, set nothing in place. You are dumb as dirt. <laughs> you better put some goals in place. And say, I'm going to read Well, you don't want to say something and then don't do it. Who says I'm not going to do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it in place and I'm going to do it. I'm going to be better than I've ever been and I'm not going back. I'm going forward and I mean, I'm going to take everything that gets in my way. I'm setting it aside. Every obstacle, everything that gets in the way, I'm setting it aside. I don't have time for this. Stay calm, but bad. I'm bad because you ain't pushing me. Looked the devil in the face and said, no, not this time. You rode my life for years. I've been hearing Sister Rose preach for years, and I'm still the same old crazy joker that, 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 that sitting on the pew that, that I was when she told me that. Joe said to me today, he said, uh, I'm ready to do what you told me to do. I thought that's right. Get up, prove. I mean, by the end of this year, you should be standing in this church testifying about how God blessed me in my business, in my spiritual life, my prayer life in increased, and blessings increased. You send the you send a praise up and blessings come down. You're too lazy to praise God. You gotta say, people, come on, praise God. Praise God. Whoa. I'm one minute. One minute. And I want you to, I want you. <laughs> I want you. Get up here, musicians. I want you. In one minute. I want you to stand to your feet and I want you to shake everything off from 2014. And I'm going forward and I'm going to have victory and I'm going to be an overcomer. And I put the devil under my feet. Stop him to death. Stop him to death. Put him under your feet. I want to glorify you. Praise your name. I want to praise your name. I want to lift you up.
need to get loose tonight. I need to get loose tonight. Come on, come on, come on. You got to talk right to them. You got to get back to them. You got to let them know.